<clears throat> hi gemini welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node let's see what we have in the cards for you in your next 72 hours please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation i could be talking about someone else highly in uh heavily in your energy and also remember you know just take what resonates leave what does not fit and timing is fluid and row, so these events could be past present or future but i am setting the intentions for your next 72 hours okay but it's not going to be like that for everybody these events are not going to happen for everyone in the next 72 okay so let's see what's going on for gemini spirit next 72 hours sun moon rising venus and north node what is going on for gemini next 72 hours okay Oh, so we have sad news. It says disappointing message, not what you wanted to hear, something not going in your favor, inconvenient truth. Okay, so something here is going to be sad for someone. Hmm, I don't know if that's your energy though, but okay. Let's see, it says abundance. Your arrival to abundance, financial blessings, rewards for your efforts, money flows easily into your life. Yeah, I feel like something here is I've been getting blessing and disguise energy all week for these signs here. Well, so far this week for most signs, especially Virgo it could be dealing with the Virgo. But I feel like the sad news is going to kind of like be bittersweet because you're going to get something nice in return. OK, so whatever this is, let's see, it says crystal ball events taking place in the future, inner knowing, occult and esoteric knowledge, stepping into your spiritual power. Yes, yeah, something is helping you grow. Okay, I feel like you're moving on from a certain type of situation or um, a way of being here to receive this reward, this abundance, this good fortune. I feel like your money is going to be really, really looking good here. Abundance doesn't just have to mean money, though. It can mean other things, too. What else for Gemini Spirit next 72? Some of you guys could be going into uh, being a tarot reader here. If you have a tarot business, that's going to flourish and bring you in the income you want. One more for Gemini, please. Okay, thank you. So we have renewal. It says powerful inner transformation. Leave old flames, embrace the new. Release of energy and emotions playing with fire. So there could be something here that's coming in that's sad for you, but it's going to help you renew something that you wanted to do maybe. It's going to help you bring back something that you really had passion for here or uh, something like that. Yeah, we have sadness, disappointment, regret, depression, unwelcome change. Then we have serendipity, divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortunate stroke of luck. I feel like somebody, somebody's getting bad karma for something. Yeah, bottom of the deck is dice, time to take risks, getting out of your comfort zone, leap into the unknown, adventure awaits. Yeah, let's get some cards on this. Let's see what's going on. For Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Why is sad news here? You and a person could be renewing a relationship or starting a relationship back up here. After a transformation, after a time of healing and ending things that are not serving your highest good or serving, you know, your person's highest good or whatever. Um, let's see. What is the sad news about for Gemini? Please and thank you. Next 72 hours. <clears throat> what is the sad news about? The high priestess in the tower. Who did I just have this for? I think Libra. You could be dealing with another air sign. But um, I think Libra. I'm not sure. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Bottom. Four of Cups. Eight of Cups. Could be seeing Eight, Eight. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All water signs. So, Gemini, I feel like you feel something coming here. You feel something coming. You feel like this tower moment is definitely going to come in the next 72 or maybe further down the line. or I don't know. You, you feel something coming towards you that's going to happen, that it's going to be shocking here. Maybe when you receive this phone call, I feel like you're going to be like, I knew it. I knew this is what it, what it was. I should have listened to my intuition. You know, that type of thing, possibly. But I do feel like you feel something. You need to listen to your intuition. Especially with the stepping into your spiritual power, occult and esoteric knowledge, inner knowing. There's something here that you know that you can feel. And it's possibly going to make you feel sad or feel bad. What else for sad news? There could be something that someone's hiding from you that you're going to find out about. King of Cups. 
Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords. For some of you, you're going to find out your person was in a family dynamic with someone else or lying to you about something or hiding their, their feelings. I don't feel like that's sad news. I just feel like, you know, uh, let's see. Who is this King of Cups right here for Gemini? Who is this King of Cups? Yeah. Something about someone. Maybe you were with this person and um, they stabbed you in the back multiple times or you're going to find out about a betrayal here in regards to a water sign. Okay, you could have water highly aspected somewhere too, but I feel like you're going to find out something about a King of Cups here. Maybe they were married to someone else or with someone else here. Or you were in love with this person. You're really in love with this person, but they betrayed you. They hurt you here. Or you, you're, you're going to find out something else. Something's going to be shocking. Maybe spirit is going to let you know something. It's not. Maybe it's not going to be a, a phone call or something. It's going to be spirit sending you messages and signs. Okay, so pay attention to that. The High Priestess also talks about fertility, pregnancy. You guys could be finding out something about a pregnancy here or something like that. Yeah, it could be all type of things, but let's move on. Why is abundance here for Gemini? Yeah, the Hierophant, there's going to be a breaking up of some sort. Something here was immoral and ethical. Something here is just not... Somebody went against some rules or something, some roles here, or somebody just decided to not conform to something or something like that. Yeah, I feel like something is a blessing in disguise. This breakup, this divorce, or whatever this, this long-term shit was, it's like a, you're going to receive abundance. You're going to receive compensation right after you, you break up with this person or whatever this is. Or leave this marriage or this job or this institution or whatever this is the empress popped out yeah something maybe could possibly be a, about a pregnancy here a feminine energy could have gotten pregnant by someone else what is this abundance for gemini yeah not a pentacle something here was not solid or stable um there could be could have been something that happened in regards to your finances you could have took a big loss by dealing with someone that was Somebody here could be very materialistic. You were married to someone that was materialistic here or something like that. But some somebody here was disloyal, dishonest towards you as well. So I feel like as soon as you leave this person, you're going to get something like right back. You're going to find out maybe this person was giving to someone else. What else for the abundance card? Yeah, two of cups. That's that breakup. And the cycle is going to close out. Yeah, something here is just over. It's done. It's no going back to whatever this is. So there's a relationship that's ending because of someone's disloyalty or materialistic ways or i don't know somebody just didn't want to do the right thing in regards to this connection so there's a breakup here you and this person or or this person or or that your person and another person is don't see eye to eye okay anymore definitely something in regard to some finances though possibly what else for crystal ball for Gemini? I mean, what, what's going on with crystal ball for Gemini next 72? Five of swords and the page of wands. Uh, Gemini, I feel like you're going to be tested here. You're going to be tested in your next 72 because I feel like, I don't know if this five of swords person is going to come back like this, um, uh, this ten of, I meant this Ten of Swords and this Tower person is coming back as the Five of Swords to try to sabotage something for you or try to sabotage an opportunity and they're disguising themselves as the Page of Wands upright. Good news. Everything's going well or whatever. I don't know, but I feel like you're being going to be tested here. Somebody could have been using a child as a pawn or trying to use a child as a pawn. You really need to listen to your intuition. By you stepping into your, your, spiritual, uh, your spiritual power, like the card said, you have an inner knowing about things. There's some events that are going to take place that you're going to have to use your intuition about. Yeah, let me keep going. Then I'm going to clarify that. What, um, The Five of Swords. What else for Crystal Ball for Gemini? Okay, Six of Wands. Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. The Five of Swords could, could mean you letting down your defenses. Okay. Um... You getting the last laugh in a situation, not because you're getting like, it's, it's not like get back. I just feel like 
you won. You won a situation here. Is it something here that's coming in for you that's going to be good news here? You're going to be victorious in this situation. If there were people in the Five of Swords energy trying to sabotage you or sabotage a connection or something like that, or just different things that you have coming in for you, I feel like you're going to get a victory over that here. Some of you guys are getting public recognition for something, but there's a phone call or something coming in or a text with the Page of Wands. There could be something here that you're trying to start is um, in regards to your spirituality that's going to bring you some type of public recognition or fame or something like that. What is this Five of Swords energy for Gemini? Okay, the Temperance. Yeah, somebody that's antagonizing you. I feel like somebody's antagonizing you trying to, I, I don't know, but they're imbalanced. They're the ones that's imbalanced here. They need the healing. Yeah, you're going to have to... Um, you know, fight your, you know, choose your battles wisely. That's what I meant to say. Because I feel like somebody's trying to take you out of your character. But I do feel like somebody's getting on your fucking nerves in the next 72. They're trying to antagonize you. And, and I just feel like you're going on about your business. So don't play get back, uh, Gemini. That is your card. That five of swords is you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be a fire sign around you that's trying to antagonize you and get on your nerves. But I feel like you're beating this person at their own game here using your spiritual gifts. Okay, so that's always a good thing. So let's see, what is renewal for Gemini? Okay, two of pentacles came out sideways. So that's what the, the struggle could have been. You're trying to balance your life out or balance your finances out. I feel like it is going to be balanced out here. Okay, but that could have been a blockage, a blockage someone's finances or someone trying to juggle too much or maybe even juggle you. I don't know. And you didn't see that this person was doing that to you. But I do feel like you're embracing new shit by trying to come into balance here. You're trying to, um, after this release of, of getting rid of this person, you're trying to just balance yourself out. And your finances look like it's coming back into balance. Maybe you have limited resources right now. But I do I do see that you're, you're doing a good job at balancing yourself out. What else for renewal? For Gemini, next 72. Yeah, wow, Queen of Wands just came out upright. Now they're in reverse. So, yeah, this person, somebody here is very promiscuous. They just have sex with every damn body in relationships. What you do when you're single is nobody's business but yours. But when you're in a relationship, respect that person, especially if they don't like that shit, right? I mean, because, you know, everybody's is different. People have open relationships and all type of shit. But, and I don't even know how those work, so I'm not going to speak on it. You know, something that I don't know about. But from my experience, you know, if I'm in a relationship, the cheating shit is just dead. You're not going to be running around cheating on me. That's just period. Somebody here, though, is, um, yeah, I feel like you're moving away from this person here. Your person here, Gemini, could have been juggling you with the Queen of Wands in reverse or something like that. But I feel like somebody had someone's finances all fucked up. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, The Lovers. Yeah, somebody was like giving to a, a, a situation here. Giving to someone else that was cheating on them the whole time or whatever. Helping someone out. What else for renewal? Yeah, five of cups. You're moving on from the sadness, the disappointment, the depression. Okay, staying stuck in the past. You're moving on from this person and finding balance again. Yeah, what is this queen of wands right here in reverse? Yeah, five of pentacles. They're the ones that stuck. And, and you left them out in the cold. Now they're struggling. And now they're all confused and shit. They're all confused. They're the ones stuck in illusions here and, and all type of bullshit. And I feel like you left this person out in the cold. Now they're the ones trying to get their finances together. And I feel like this is you moving forward. Yeah, you have plenty more options. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Um, chariot could be dealing with the cancer ten of cups yeah you have options you can go and do whatever you want I feel like there's somebody in particular you want to go back to but I do feel like you're moving away from this person you want to do whatever the fuck you want to do just like how they did but you're doing it in a more in a better way you're not running around cheating so could be a fire sign a Sagittarius specifically possibly or you're dealing with the earth sign or some, something like that. But yeah, I feel like you left this person out in the cold. You're embracing the new and leaving the old behind. This is definitely old news. So let's see. What is sadness here for Gemini? Four swords. Yeah, you're healing from this. Whatever this is. This sadness or depression or feeling regretful. 
and looking at how things have played out for you i feel like you're healing from that you could be in your head a lot but nonetheless i do you know in the next 72 i feel like you're resting you're going to be possibly thinking about a lot here but something is going to spark some type of transformation and healing process definitely i feel like this is what needs to happen yeah what else for um sadness for gemini four pentacles you guys could be seeing four four yeah this is something that you're either holding back or holding on to regret and remorse or feeling sad about something yeah i feel like you're going to have a speedy recovery though i feel like something is going to, sh to shift because the eight of wands upright talks about positive change positive movement forward. then we have the three of swords which is like heartbreak i feel like you're going to recover very quickly and going towards go into a new connection here yeah that you want to possibly invest in yeah the lovers six seven of pentacles six of pentacles again with the ace of wands ten of pentacles yeah something is coming in that's you gemini you're either going to meet someone or you already know someone that you have a strong sexual attraction to but i feel like you want to make an investment into them as well because you see them as long-term material could be a twin flame or a soulmate connection here that you want to invest in so you're gonna have to release this heartbreak or or you know let go of control okay you could have control issues trying to control how things are going but it's you know you have to let go of whatever this is so you can heal and move forward and get this serendipity here this happiness or this happy relationship or whatever this is you guys could be sad about some some finances or losing some money here now you're penny pinching or having a you know save or this is this person because i feel like you're going into a really good time here a happy time what else for sadness for gemini yeah six of cups somebody i feel like somebody is sad that you're you're releasing them okay yeah the four of cups page of pentacles seven of swords yeah they're still up to their same old stupid shit right the cheating the lying the whatever i feel like you're leaving them because of that and they're still up to it they're trying to give you an offer here but you're going to ignore it here with the four of cups you don't want this offer from this person but you're definitely releasing the past or this is what you're going to be trying to do in the next 72 hours release because you could be holding on to past pain and you're needing to release whatever this is there's some inner child healing that needs to be healed as well but i do feel like you're going to release this person and it's going to happen quickly all right but i feel like this past person is sad and they're the ones penny pinching and shit like that they don't have you to rely on anymore because they're broke yeah what is the serendipity for gemini the sun in reverse yeah you you don't see something coming here you're not too clear about what your future holds for you could be dealing with the leo maybe this is how they feel um somebody is not is being pessimistic about something yeah somebody's being pessimistic about something is needing to shift this sun in reverse and upright what else for um serendipity for gemini yeah nine of cups somebody is really being pessimistic they don't feel like they're going to get their wish fulfillment here serendipity did come out in reverse though guys so it could be this person in your energy feeling that way all right or um the third party somebody could be drinking a lot here could be like overindulging in, in liquor and shit like that let me see i'm gonna clarify these what is serendipity what else one more for serendipity the queen of pentacles yeah then we have the five of wands so yeah you know i don't really feel like this is your energy gemini i feel like this is someone else you're going into serendipity you're going into a time of happy a happiness here and this person is not happy they're very sad they could be drinking a lot and shit like that who's this queen of pentacles right here for gemini who's this queen of pentacles yeah queen of swords this is a nasty energy could be two feminines here that are upset or something like that but this is a nasty ass energy they're a liar they're a con and you can't trust them could be another gemini you're dealing with or this is you that you're on the Taurus gemini cusp here with this earth sign energy but yeah somebody here is just is a liar and i feel like they're moving on they're the ones that's sad here it's not you i don't feel what is this sun in reverse right here for gemini yeah ten of wands burden too many responsibilities here i feel like this person is trying to keep up a look this person is like very egotistical they care more about how they look instead of really being happy and authentic about who they are they're a liar they're a pathological liar at that they're bitter and they're very disgusting so 
they're the ones that's burdened here. They're the ones that's weighed down and you're going to be moving into a happy relationship or your money is going to be together, together and you're going to move on with your life. <laughs> so yeah, they're not getting that wish fulfillment. They're, they're not because they don't deserve it. <laughs> so, okay. Whatever. So let's see. For Gemini, let's get some more clarity about this reading, the spread. Spirit, next 72 hours for Gemini. Next 72 hours for Gemini, please. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have should have, could have, would have. Yeah. <laughs> keep, it, keep it pushing. It is what it is. Move forward, never backwards. At some point, you just have to let go of what you thought should have happened and focus on what's happening now. Yeah. So this person is shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever. What else? We have time out. It says, take a break. Time off is needed. Summer vacation. Don't sweat it. Work hard, but don't forget to play hard too. Don't. Yeah, don't overwork yourself. Bring the fun back into your life. Reconnect with your inner child. Yeah, this could be you right here. Six of Cups in reverse. You need to reconnect with your inner child. Do something here that's fun that you used to do that brings back um good memories. Okay, it's something that you need to heal possibly as well. All right. We have boundaries. Not your responsibilities to fix everyone. Learn to say no. Respect other people's space, body, and feelings. Energy shield. Detach from any people holding you under their influence. Yep. Setting strong boundaries. Then we have neighborhood watch. Watchdog, anonymous guardian, surveillance camera, nosy neighbors, stalker, invasion of privacy. Keep a lookout. Someone is keeping an eye out to protect you. So I don't know. This person could be stalking you, though. This other person here. This person in this uh, ego energy. Third party, maybe, for some of you. But anyways, guys. This was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you guys can catch my uploads. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Gemini.